In this video, I'm going to talk about DLP Impact Analysis App. Now, uh, if you navigate to your Center of Excellence Core Components under Apps, you will see one app called as DLP Impact Analysis. It's a model-driven app. This app was previously in a preview state. Now it's completely GA. So you can trigger the app by clicking here and then uh, clicking on Play. And then once you uh, open the app, you will see uh, this sort of an interface. Uh, now, uh, in order to uh, understand what this app does is basically you need to read the instruction which says use the DLP impact analysis to view how apps and flows in your tenant are impacted by DLP policies. So uh, think about it like if you have, let's say, some flows created within your organization and some apps created within your organization and uh, someone from an admin created a DLP policy like the data loss prevention policy by blocking say some connector okay like say someone has blocked Azure DevOps connector now if your apps or flows are using those uh, Azure DevOps connector then quite possible some of the apps may be impacted okay but if you have hundreds of policies uh, then it's very hard to understand what else might have been impacted because of that so in order to do that you may have to navigate to the policy and then understand the impact of those actions okay now uh, you can create dlp policy using the power platform admin center but then it does not give you the impact analysis uh, statements okay now here uh, if you see these are set of the applied policy and these are the set of draft policy I do not have any draft policy at the moment. So in applied policy, like these are some of the data loss prevention policy which has been created before, okay? Now, if you see here, if I select this, then I can edit the policy. I can copy the policy. I can open policy in PPAC. So if you want to create a similar policy, you can copy the policy and then that policy will get copied and then you can create your own new policy. Now, the second thing, you can edit the policy. So if I click here, I can edit this particular specific policy and then uh, I can get all those uh, changes, you know, uh, make all those changes which is required. Like I can change the policy name, I can change the connectors, I can change the scope, I can change the environment, okay? I can view the impact analysis and I can review it, okay? So uh, let me again go back to here just to show you uh, like, how to navigate now on the top right you will see a drop down you know in this drop down you can see all the environments so if you want to see environment specific policies so if i click on garish dev one i can see uh, environment specific policy okay now here if i select this policy uh, uh i will be you know like uh, able to uh, see that this policy is applied to say nine environment created by myself, created on this state and modified on this, this, this state. Now, I, if I want to edit this policy, I can go ahead and further edit this policy as well. Uh, but I just want to show you that, you know, like you can filter out the policy which has been uh, applied to a specific uh, environment. Okay, So I don't have much uh, policy created. So let me um, again click on impact analysis and then show you by editing one of the policy. So let's say block salesforce okay so this is one of the policy uh, but don't go by the name because i have used it for some other uh, uh, different uh, action okay now these are uh, let, let me refresh this application see if the other policies which i have created is reflected or not so yeah uh, okay yeah so if i select this block salesforce over here then i can see uh it is applied to say one environment okay and uh, let me edit this policy okay yeah so if i click on next i can see that there are uh, we can move the connectors between different groups okay uh, and then there are no matching connectors found uh, let me click on next 
yeah it's a bit slow over here oh uh, okay i can uh see the scope which has been it has been added to the environment which it has uh and now here this is the important part impact analysis to understand what all things are impacted now with this policy there is one impacted flows okay so if i click on impacted flows i can see that uh, this particular flow has been impacted because of this policy now what this policy is like i have blocked azure devops connector okay so let me show you that first yeah so here if you see i have uh, blocked uh, azure devops and salesforce connector along with it okay now if i go to impact analysis yeah here i can see the one flow is impacted now what to do with this okay i can view the impact from here i can see that uh, the state is suspended uh, and the blocked connector is azure devops okay now what i can do i can export this to task list so remember i'm an admin doing all this activity so i'm going to export this to csv or export it to task list so i'll export this to task list it will say impacted apps and flows will be added to the task list now i can click on next and i can see the summation and then i can save this policy as a draft as well okay uh because uh quite possible that you don't want to uh, create a policy which will uh, suddenly stop other people's apps and flows okay uh, so you can do that action uh, as well over here and i will just uh click on update the policies okay so let me see yeah policy saved as draft uh let me go into the non-compliant task list now okay now here we have added this one record okay now what that record is basically it says that hey this is uh, these many apps are getting impacted you know or flows are getting impacted so why don't we take any action okay now what you can do you can send a task to maker or you can email the maker okay so let me do uh, send a task to maker now what exactly i'll be trying to achieve over here is an admin before he even creates that policy first he will L analyze the impact to the apps and flow and then if he identifies that some apps or flows may get impacted by that policy it needs to be notified to the maker so that maker can make some changes now what are those changes okay so let me send this task to maker now what will happen is uh say in teams uh, you may get a card okay you may get this sort of card okay now if you see receive this uh card uh, which will say that hey uh, these are the non-compliant power app or flow if you are planning changes to power platform data policy you are the owner of the apps that are no longer compliant with the change data policy review your apps now there are you have 30 days to take an action now these are the action you can take update the app is required you will update the app to use allowed connectors only okay so now you are restricted with the data policy delete the app is no longer required you will delete the app from the environment so you can go ahead and delete the app from the environment or the flow from an environment you can migrate this app is required you will migrate the app to a new environment that supports the required connector so these are the three changes which you can do okay uh, now it will list down the impacted resources okay and it will request for your decision so here you can select the decision for this resource either you delete migrate update and then you submit this decision so let me say i will migrate this to new environment okay and i'll submit my decision and then my decision will be you know registered now going back here if i click on non-compliant task over here i can see that you know uh for the first one uh it the decision is required okay the second one which i have just you know like registered this information is all good as of now if i go to impact analysis remember um, when you updated that uh, policies we uh, put the policy in the draft policy you know we i click twice and that's why you see this two record over here and that's why you know like this is in draft policy now uh, what an admin can do is like admin can come ahead and edit the policy and if the admin thinks that everyone has done their part and they have migrated deleted or updated the environment can again go here 
and then <coughs> go to impact analysis and then again run that impact analysis uh, activity now i haven't done anything uh, so again it will show technically it should show that uh, there has some app has been impacted with it okay and if uh, everything is fine if you don't see any impacted flow then you can go ahead and uh, update the policy or create that policy so it's basically one step before we even make that policy rather than uh, it's kind of a proactive approach by an admin to first assess before even putting that policy in place so uh, that's it folks this is all about dlp impact analysis policies uh, in, uh, so uh, an admin gets a nice view of what apps and flows might get impacted based on that action and then uh, admin can proactively notify the makers uh, and let them action those and then those policy will get uh, published in your environment thanks for watching